was a beautiful day for a drive. We headed down Interstate 87 through the Adirondack Mountains and enjoyed a lot of lovely scenery. So here we are pulling into Chad's place. Hey babe, this guy's got a little volume going on. Got a little what? Volume, voluminous <laughs> hair. <laughs> what shampoo are you using? <laughs> Hi there. Wanna come home with us? Ready for a grand adventure? Mm-hmm. Mm, so sweet. Over there. It's very inquisitive. It's like I want that on. <laughs> It's like, put this on me. I'm ready. I'm ready to do it. I'm ready to do it. Are you? Here, give me that. I want to put it on. Here. Yes. I was afraid these hoppers would be too, too, way too big. Ah. Oh, you want that? Abs, look. He keeps on picking everything up. He's ready to get going. He's like, here, can you put, the, uh, let me use it. <laughs> he keeps on picking everything up. He's like, can you put this, this on me, yours, please? Honey. This is yours. I'll take that, he says. Lead rope. You're a goob. <laughs> <laughs> that one's goober. <laughs> well, that was hard. <laughs> yeah, the other one was the same. Yeah. They are very good for the little thing. Fair enough. For sure. Man, I was really concerned about this hall to be too, too big. Uh-huh, no. We got these from Jonah. Oh, nice, nice, perfect. What size is that? I don't know. Because I, I go to buy a halter and I get them all too small or too big. Kind of get, and I'm like, uh, I don't know. Um, but the next time you're there, you can just ask him because he'll probably remember. Remember what he saw on the outside, also, Dad. Uh, we're not going to worry about that halter price. I'm just going to pay the full price. Okay. But anyway. Okay. These halters, I got the two halters, oh, honey, plus the new lead ropes, <laughs> and was, gonna... well, these were okay. 1250. 1250? Perfect. Perfect. He's, he has always done super reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's what, you don't like your halter? You'll get used to it. Oh, I think you look very handsome. It's time to start your boot camp. <laughs> they're very sweet, aren't they sweet? <laughs> yes, they're very sweet. There was issue with <laughs> 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 over his hair. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like the other one has completely different hair. Oh, that's hair true. He's got the he's got like frizzy hair like me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean not yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you can unroll those off of those things. Okay. But I might some, we take you guys <laughs> But I might some put the truck right inside, yes. Yeah? Oh sure. Fine, trailer honey, yeah, the trailer. Great. That'll work. That'll work. So here Chad is leading the mother into the trailer. Um, the mother to the one colt anyways. Yeah, I would say 
the other cult's mother he has sold, sold, so that's not an option. We just feel that the cults will probably go in better if, if uh, the mother's in there first. Abby's bonding with this cult. This is the cult that the mother's not here. I was hoping when we got down here, Chad had a, a way to load these colts like a barn or something that we could put them into first, but that just wasn't an option, so we had to do it right in the barnyard, which can lead to some fairly major problems. Maybe I will try to take the other two away. Try to what? Take the other two away so they don't keep running. That would be great. The two older colts were causing quite a bit of trouble, so Chad decided to try and get a halter on them and tie them up somewhere. Well, maybe they'll go in now too, but. We don't care which one they take. This is our loaded job. <laughs> <laughs> you're pretty. Yeah, you are. You're pretty. Oh, did that one hop out there? There we go. <laughs> Yeah, this is the one likes to eat everything. I call them nib. <laughs> Nibbles. <laughs> Definitely might eat the camera. Yeah, just don't bite people. Yeah. Do you do that? <laughs> you are a cult, you probably do. Okay, first one's in. It's quiet in there. <laughs> yeah, can I, uh... I would say, maybe, maybe you just let that one go. Uh, let this one go? Yeah. Yup. And slide through the sliding gate. Okay. Or just open the gate. So, we still have the older Colt to get out of the trailer now. Him up in here, yep. and then you can push him back and shut the door. Yep, I like it. Yep. So. Can we, if, I think if you tie her, him up there, they'll both stay and we can pop, it just have that, we'll, we'll let this guy girl yep. back out. Yep. Loading and separating animals like this can be very stressful on the animals. You know, every caution needs to be taken so no one gets hurt. Um, can you shut that center door? Abby's doing a great job outside with the other cult, keeping him fairly calm and and uh, while we were fighting in the trailer. Hey, Brenda, Brenda, yeah. can you open the door? Yeah, how does, how does this thing Open this stupid door. Brenda, this this one right here? Yeah, the whole thing. Don't come back on. I don't think you're supposed to come back on here. Just take a little view of what's going on up here. Come in. Come in. Come in. 
Now for the second call. We expect a little bit more troubles with this one because he doesn't have a mother to go in into the trailer and follow into the trailer. But he is used to these other animals. But Chad's got to catch the other older colt and get her out of here so she doesn't try to jump back into the trailer again. And then we'll work on getting this one in. So I have the mare and the her colt tied to the front of the trailer, but I have the center gate closed. Well, this colt can't see them very well, so I decided to open up the center gate so that he could see them, but it's a little risky because the colt that's tied up might freak out and try to back out. But he wasn't a problem. But this guy still didn't want to go in. A couple of times we thought he was going to walk right in, but no such luck. So we thought we'd try another approach. Ready? Let's go pull him and push him a little more. <laughs> Am I squeezing your hand no, too hard? No. He's just like flexing his butt muscles, I think. Come on, buddy. Woo. <laughs> I just don't want him to like Can you kick us. Re okay. Come on, buddy. you got this. Come on, honey. Come on. Come on, bud. What if we went down a little bit lower abs? Just like, woo! Or not. Or we're backing up. Well, there goes all our progress. One step forward and two steps back. Huh. Two steps back. Yeah, Follow just me take to the ends of the world. <laughs> Come here, give me a kiss. Okay. Come here. Come here. Come here, man. Come on. She starts falling, release it a little bit, and then and then fall again. Come here, knock on. He can see them and everything. He just doesn't want to go. Can you see him in there? It's actually being really good. Come on. Time to try something else. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn the trailer around so it's headed down the hill. So it's not quite so high of a step up for these horses. And hopefully that'll make a difference. That's pretty good. Now we gotta get them all the way over there though. <laughs> but that is a lot less steep that way. This should help It comes right along. Yeah, You're coming right along, you just don't want to go in there, right? <laughs> A really nice kid. So Chad had a long, longer rope, and we're going to use that to put around the colt. So I tied, hitched the one end to the trailer, and we'll see how this goes. 
Sometimes when you're moving these colts, these foals, they have not been handled, so you've kind of got to manhandle them a little bit to get to get done what needs to be done. What? It's a little nervous. <laughs> what are you doing over here? <laughs> I do think at times when you're doing it this way, you should just stop and just let the colt stand there for a little bit and then go back to pushing. In he goes. So now both the colts are in the trailer, but we still have the mother tied in here also. So we have to somehow separate the colts from her and, and kick her out. There's a, the front side door is probably where she'll go. Put them in the back. I thought maybe I could push both the colts back into the back part of the trailer and close the gate, but there's no way that was going to happen. There just wasn't enough room back there to get them in there and close the gate, so gave up on that idea and thought I could just hold them back all right while we opened the side door and kicked them out. Stay right on that gate. Step the back side of the back side. 
You ready to slam it? Okay, Mama's out of the trailer, just out of the Colts now. So I pull the halter and lead ropes off the Colts. I don't want them to have anything on when they're traveling. And I decided they would travel a lot better if they were in the tighter confinements of just the front compartment. So that's what I did. Hey guys. Okay, can someone open the background? They are loaded. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. We're going to head home and we'll see you next time.